Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Remember guys, if you enjoy our content and you wanna help support the channel, the best thing you can do is hit the thumbs up button. Looks like we still have a little room in the dump truck. Let's fix that quick. Actually, we have a slight change of plans. This tire's looking a little squishy on the dump truck. The scrapyard closes in an hour, so I should probably go fill that up and then get to the scrapyard so that way I can get this load in today. All right, Dad, how heavy do you think it is? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. I'm guessing 2,650 pounds. 2,650. I'm gonna say 2320. This is what we call an unprepared load. So this is really long stuff. It has a lot of stuff that has a lot of air in it, like these tubes. So it takes up a lot of space, but they don't really weigh a whole lot. But it's still junk and it still needs to go. Daddy Cornstar is saying that only because he's on camera. Yeah, it's still junk. I get your name? Yeah. Dad, what you got? Unprepared steel. All right, got your weight. Can you dump? Yep. Here we go. Not a half bad little pile of stuff. Not huge by any means. Stuff like this is what's considered prepared and you can get a lot smaller and you get it packed a lot tighter. That, not so much. This dump truck's definitely not like driving a Cadillac. When we come into the scrapyard, we pull on the scale and then we get a going in weight and then we dump, then we come back and we weigh again, then they subtract the difference and that's what we get paid on. Moment of truth. Dad and I were both wrong. 3,820 pounds for a total price of $133.70. By no means is that good, but hey, that's one less load of junk I have to take in. And just like that, we're back at the chop, chop, choppity, chop, 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 chop. Now that could have been a tongue twister. We just got started chopping up some augers. We have 15 to go once we get this one done. The bed on the dump truck is 14 feet long. So we're gonna be cutting these augers up into 12 to 13 foot chunks. We should be able to get a nice load out of this. Couple loads actually. Not cool. Torch isn't lighting. I think I'm out of acetylene. Let's go rob some from the other shop. Let's see, what does this one have in it? I don't know if these ones are full or not. It's going off feel, I'm guessing that they're empty. Oh yeah. And yes, the sun is extremely bright. Mama Cornstar just got home, so I'm gonna wash her car. It is a mess right now, so it's time to give it a good bath. That's one nice thing about having a power washer at home. We can wash the cars when we want to and when they need it. It's always nice to try to keep the cars halfway clean. Lately, with some of the rains we've been getting, it's been hard to keep them clean, but right now we're in a dry spell. It's gonna get a bath. Well, let's turn the power washer on. It can dry, we don't need the car for a couple hours. It should be dry by then. I don't know, Nava. I see your dirt bike sitting here. I could see me saying I'm gonna go up the road and check the bean field and corn field quick and end up taking it for a little spin. I'm just gonna borrow it for just a little bit. We all like Nava's dirt bike. It is a lot of fun. Cole's dirt bike, if it was here, I'd be taking it also. I can ride two at different times. The floor actually dries pretty quick, but if you use the squeegee on it and get it to the drain, the floor will dry three times faster. I want to check the air pressure on this tire. For Cooper, on a veneer, how many pounds of air pressure should we put in? According to Siri, about 28 pounds. Okay, there you go, Cooper. I think you're ready to go bail hay, so let's get moving. Whoa, I'm wearing a different shirt and sunglasses. Just thought I'd give you guys some good news, and no, it's not that Pit Viper's restocked. By the way, if you want to pick up some sunglasses, you better do it really quickly because they are almost sold out of everything. And honestly, if you don't order today, there's probably a high chance you're not going to be able to pick up any sunglasses for the next few weeks. So if you want some, now's the time to do it. And by the way, I can get you 15% off if you order through the link down in the description. But the news I wanted to tell you 
is we got a new sponsor. You silly goose, the boot's not the sponsor, but the company who makes the boot is. You guys ever heard of Ariat before? Yeah, I don't know. I hadn't heard of them either until the other day they emailed me. I don't know, probably some little mom and pop shop. But anyway, if you need some new work boots, if you need some new casual shoes, you need pants, shirts, whatever, Ariat has basically anything you need on their website. And the best part is I have a link in the description where you can get 10% off. These are the boots that I wear from Ariat. These are the work hogs. They are 100% waterproof. They have a composite toe. And honestly, they're the most comfortable boot I've ever worn in my life. As you guys know, I never promote anything that I don't use myself. So if you want to get 10% off on anything on Ariat's website, link's in the description. I ran down to the main heated shop to grab another bottle of gas and I went to go take this old one off that I thought was empty but it appears to be just as heavy as this bottle that's half full. So I'm kind of questioning if the tip of my torch is plugged again. Let's try it again. This is being a pretty slow job right now. I got through the shell of this auger, but I'm not able to cut that solid piece in the bottom because I can't get my torch hot enough. And then when I try to adjust it, it just keeps kicking off. I'm gonna try taking the tip off and then try cleaning it from the backside, or I'm gonna see if I can find another tip. We're just gonna swap out ones. Let's try this again. That looks more promising. Oh. I don't understand this whole torch thing. Shouldn't be that hard. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. We're gonna YouTube it. Make sure that everything's adjusted properly. First thing that you wanna do, I will not lie to you guys. I'm very annoyed right now. I've literally been messing with this torch for two and a half hours. I got that cut. I got a couple little spots in here cut. I got halfway through that. And now I can't get any oxygen spurts out of my wand. I still have oxygen in my bottle. I don't know what's going on. I'm really about to put all these augers on hold and just go hop in the skid loader and start picking some of this stuff up that's in a pile. I know a few people mentioned that I should use a grinder. That might be faster. And I agree with that on a lot of areas. So on a 10 inch auger like this, it's really hard to get into the middle with a grinder. Portable band saw is another option. I don't have one of those. I could look into one. Not really sure if that's the route I want to go though. And then someone also mentioned a plasma cutter. I wouldn't mind having one of those because I'd really like to have one in the shop and that's way faster than a torch. This is frustrating. These little pieces on the ground are a result of almost four hours worth of work. I just feel like I wasted half my afternoon. We'll hop in the skid loader and we'll get the dump truck full of another load of unprepared steel. We'll get the cutting situation figured out later. Good. Here's the plan of attack. We're gonna hop in the dump truck and then we're gonna pull down here by this big pile of metal. We'll hop in the skid loader. We'll throw all the stuff that we can fit in the dump truck in the dump truck. And if it's too big or too bulky to fit in the dump truck, we'll slide it off to the side so that way I can get a grinder, or plasma cutter, or whatever to cut it up into smaller pieces. We have several loads here. So we're just gonna keep whittling away at it. And the bugs like my microphone, that's for sure. I'd say the dump truck's full. Oh yeah. See, this is what I don't like about hauling 10 or big bulky items. We have a lot of spaces like this that have a lot of room for stuff, but most of the 10 items are a lot bigger than this, so you can't really stuff them down in there. It's frustrating. Right here we have two pretty good sized piles of 10 and big bulky stuff. I'm going to have quite a few trips to the scrap yard here. They're not gonna weigh a whole lot. Not a whole lot of money sitting right here. It's part of it though. I wanna get it cleaned up. Not much I can do. Honestly, it hardly feels like it even made a dent. We'll just keep plugging away. There's a big old storm over here, and it's actually on the other side of the county county about 45 minutes away and I can hear the grumbling from here. We got a big old cloud push over. We could definitely use some rain so I wouldn't be offended if we got some. Getting pretty dry here. I might as well put the tailgate on tonight so that way in the morning once the scrapyard opens I can just take off and go dump this. It doesn't take me very long to reload so we might get multiple loads in tomorrow. I guess it just kind of depends on what we have going on. But for the rest of the night here before it gets dark I'm going to be taking a bunch of big bulky stuff from this pile and I'm going to drag it out and if I can smash it down I'm going to smash it down and if it needs to be cut up, I'll drag it over into a different pile. I want to get as much as I can smashed down like this. So that way we can fit more in the dump truck. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot more loads and we're going to have a lot of really light loads. Little house update for you guys. Hopefully by the end of the next week, we will start construction on the wraparound porch. Right now we just have a porch on that side, but we want to build one all the way down this side. And then once that's done, we'll finish siding the house. Cool thing is we're going to be the ones building it. Of course, we're going to have a neighbor help us with the really technical stuff. But that means you guys get to be with us when we're building the porch and you get to be with us when we're siding the house. And you also get to be with us for the other 10,000 projects we have here on the farm. So what I'm trying to say is hit the subscribe button. That way you guys will be notified when I post new videos. That way you can 
can keep up with all the projects we got going on. And we have a lot of them, and they're gonna be happening like boom, 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 boom. So subscribe. Wanna know the best part? It's free. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you in the next one. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa